it's me, your girl, and today I'm coming to talk about if you saw in the title, your girl is pregnant, y'all. And I'm here to talk about it. Yes, guys, I am pregnant if you read the title or if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram. And I'm here to talk about it, y'all. So if you want to hear some of these first trimester blues and some of the things I've been going through, stay tuned. So, yes. Your girl is pregnant. When I tell you, I never thought in the world, never in my whole life world thought this was ever going to happen. Uh, talk about unplanned, untried, un nothing. I did not plan or try to get pregnant, but I guess the Lord saw differently for me and I am pregnant. So, how did I find out I was pregnant? How did that happen? So, uh, we of course, you guys know we went to Paris for our honeymoon. And while I was in Paris, I was slated to start my cycle. And I did not start it. And so, uh, I was like, well, you know, February, you know, got short days. It's, short, it's a short month, so maybe, you know, you tack on a day or two. Okay, maybe that's what it is. So I got back to the States, still no cycle. Okay, so then, you know, okay, you know, weekend, woo, 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 back, boom, still no cycle. And so then, like, when I was, when I got to the second day that I know I was fully on full late, uh, I text my friends and I was like, man, I'm late. And they were like, oh, two days, that ain't nothing. You got this. I even text my mom, like, Mommy, I'm late. And she was like, Okay. She don't be caring. And so I'm like, Man, I think I am pregnant because I have never been late ever in my entire 37 years of living. From the time I started my cycle, to, I've never been late. And so I was like, You know what? We need to get a test. And so. Um, later on that evening, we went to the gym, and then after the gym, he went and bought a test. I came back, Lord, I prayed, Lord, do not let me be pregnant. Do not let me be pregnant. And I'll be damned if my ass ain't pregnant, y'all. So, let's see. I saved the test. Y'all probably don't want to see that. That's a good thing. I took a EPT test, yes, Lord, and I peed on that stick, and I'll be goddamn if that stick did not come up with that line across it. Biggest day, and I could do nothing but sit there and was like, are you freaking kidding me? Like, I was like, what? I said, oh my God, how could I? Lord, I've been irresponsible. Oh Lord, how are you sure, God? I'm not ready. I, we just got married. Why, Lord? And then he, on the other hand, he all ecstatic and he's seen the brighter side of things. And I'm like not being completely not optimistic and he's like well we'll just do what we're supposed to do and i'm like but what are we supposed to do i'm not ready daycare fees who gonna babysit my whole life my sleep everything y'all i mean i just went through it that day and even up until i mean i'm telling i probably had already had a, my meal ready i was about to get my body back summer i had everything my life put together but God, and he came through with this baby news, y'all. So, whoo, uh, I immediately decided, immediately told my mom that um, the pot test came back positive. And she was like, wow, she couldn't even believe it. And then, um, so directly after that, like, I still was in disbelief. Like, I could not believe that my ass was pregnant. Like, you don't. You just, you know, 37 years and you just, I really had come to the realization that it just probably was either never going to happen for me or we were just going to try later on. Or even if I did try, it was going to be hard for me to get um, pregnant because, you know, you've been on birth control for this long. I'm up in age and so I just feel like it would just be hard. But yeah, <laughs> one in a quitter. And so um, my first trimester... Lord, it just seemed like 
once I re at first I was like, oh, I'm good, you know, I ain't throwing up, I'm good, man, boom, I'm healthy, I got this, man, first try messed up, boom, bitch, no, that thing hit me, and I'm talking about complete exhaustion, it was, I mean, tired, sleep, just everything. I mean, I remember trying to go to the gym, walking on the treadmill 10 minutes, and I'm pooped. I didn't want to lift no weights. I didn't want to do anything. As soon as I come home, I would come home some afternoons straight after work and sleep all the way to the next day. The weekends, from Saturday all the way to the time of going to work, I am sleep. Um, and I'm going to tell you right now, I don't understand how single mothers do it because without the help of my husband, Lord, nothing would have gotten done. Even me washing clothes was a complete chore. I would have to fold a couple, lay down, fold a couple, wash, lay down. I mean, it was just that hard. So I, I give it up to single ladies because me even thinking about having to wash dishes, cook, Make up bed, get up, drive, all those things. Like he did all those, driving me to work, all those things. And so I couldn't just, whoo, Lord, if I would have had to do that by myself, I don't think I would have made it. Like literally, like I'm slept all weekend. If it wasn't for him, you know, I, I would at least do uh, the Instacart. So shout out to Instacart.com. I am an Instacart shopper. Um, but besides getting the groceries, you know, he was doing all the cooking and doing all the cleaning and stuff like that. So, yeah, ladies, it was tough. Um, besides the extreme exhaustion, uh, I my nose got super sensitive. My breast got very tender, very so. I mean, very tender, tender to the touch. I couldn't sleep on them. Um, it was really, really rough. And then, let's see, what else symptoms did I experience? So the smelling, uh, I could smell anything, like a anything. I Like even still to this day, anything, I, certain things, like especially because you know I'm a huge candle burner. Even I have certain candles that I cannot burn longer than an hour because if it just throws me off, I can't smell it. It just, it just, it just the scents, like certain scents, even when it comes to food, so my nose was so sensitive. I could only eat if it. I could only eat it if it smelled good. If it didn't smell good, I wasn't eating it. And then speaking of eating, the cravings were astronomical. I mean, I ate everything from roti, curry chicken, uh, stewed chicken, um, oxtail, burger, pizza. Every, I mean, my blew my diet out the water. Uh, just eating whatever I wanted to, cereal all the time, bread. I was eating every, I mean, all I wanted was fast food, Chick-fil-A. I even went to McDonald's and I haven't even been to McDonald's in years. And I had to have, like, what did I have? A McGriddle because I was so hungry one morning. Um, but Chick-fil-A would be it. Sonic, I don't I fell in love with Sonic. Ooh, Lord. Oh, I want me a Sonic burger now. Yeah, so burgers and pizza was it for me. Everything. I didn't want nothing healthy. I would literally force that healthy food down because I didn't want it. Um, but thank God I was happy, able to at least do some balancing with the food. Um, but yeah, guys, my first trimester was tough. Um, but no morning sickness though. I did not have morning sickness. I just had exhaustion. Like I was really exhausted. Didn't want to go to work. Didn't was tired. I had some nausea. Like if I smelled something I didn't like, it would turn my stomach. Um, I had a, some dry heaving as well. Some, <clears throat> you know, but no real throw, uh, throw up. I threw up one time. Um, and that was like after I ate breakfast. But after the, that, other than that, I did not have no real morning sickness. Like I hear some of the ladies have. Mine was just extreme ex exhaustion. And I remember one time, like me and my husband work, we walk during the um, lunch. And after that one walk, I almost died, like literally died. So I had to just kind of slow down with that. Um, and then, of course, we went to the doctor, and then the doctor confirmed. And so, yes, guys, it came to fruition. We we's pregnant, child. So, 
I'm successfully out of my first trimester. Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. It was over with. Um, right now, what am I experiencing? Nothing much. I am, my nose is still sensitive. I still picky on what I eat, but I'm back to real life. So I can, I'm back to working out fine. Um, I'm not, while I'm not lifting heavy as I was, I do lift weights. And while I might not be running three miles, you know, I still can walk the three miles. I still can walk or do, I might not do treadmill on five, I'll just do it on one or two. So I've really slowed down my pace. Just my, my main thing is just staying active because I do want that snapback. Yes, that snapback is very important to me. Um, besides that, I am now on prescribed prenatals, which are really, really good. And uh, because of that, y'all, I also have decided to go natural. And that is a beat. Because I really want to perm this hair right now. It is so nappy in the back. But I am like eight weeks post. And so my hair is growing out. And I really, I need to stop flat ironing it for the whole, the rest of the hair get ruined. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to grow my hair out. So I don't know what I'm going to do with my hair. I'm really looking for a transition style to go natural. But I... I really want to just perm it and be done with it. Um, besides that, we're doing cocoa butter rub downs every night. My husband do not play with them cocoa butter rub downs. He don't want the stretch marks just as much as I do. So yes, child, we is rubbing down with the cocoa butter. And that's it. We went to our uh, second doctor's appointment where I had all my tests done and things like that. And my child is 100% healthy. Yay! I'm not, I don't have, I don't have any genetic disorders or anything going on with me or my child. I have 100% healthy baby. The doctor doesn't even use the words high risk when it comes to me. And I think that has a lot to do with the lifestyle that I led before I even got pregnant, you know, which is being active and eating healthy, kind of. And so, yeah, guys, that's it. I am pregnant. Can you freaking believe it i can't even even some days i'm like what are we gonna do with a baby like i i like my house is not even baby proofy it's not even kid friendly it's not like i just it's so adulty in here and so to have to think about changing my whole life into kid zone it just i'm not ready Whew. Lord, I ain't really Lord. Um, that's another thing. I had shortness of breath. That was big. Um, I'm over it now. But if you listen to a couple of my older videos, those short, the videos, like two or three videos I've done before this, the I had to do a lot of stop and takes because uh, the shortness of breath was real. So, yes, guys, I think that's pretty much it. I covered. Um, the next video I will do will be a gender reveal video. Let you guys know what we're having. He is very anxious to figure it out, find out, and so am I. And uh, then, of course, we're going to come back with some hair videos, figure out what we're going to do with his head. We're going to go ahead and perm that thing, or we're going to go ahead and go ahead and grow natural. And then some more pregnancy videos. I'll come back with, you know, some updates and things like that. So I know you guys want to see my bump. So I am officially bumping now. It's just like when I made the announcement, the bump came out from I don't know where. So the bump is here. So let me show you the bump. I am bumping, y'all. And I just need to know, does, does the bloated feeling ever go away? Because, like, all I feel is bloated. I don't, like, does it? Yeah, so you can see I'm about right here. I got about this much bumpation. So yes, I need to know. I do experience some bloating and I do experience some indigestion. And oh yeah, and when I did my first time, the constipation was real. Dude, that is like the worst feeling because you bloated and constipated. So you, it's like it's all stuck in there. But now the, the, I've been relieved from the constipation. But all I feel is this. This side of my stomach feels just like. So I need this to go away like I don't want to feel like I'm all the time and that's how I feel like bloated 
Um, I need to know from you pregnant ladies, either does this feeling never go away? Like, cause I feel like something's pressing against my stomach, and like I know the baby ain't that big, so. Uh, that's pretty much it guys please 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 if you have any questions any advice please leave it all in the comment section below i really really appreciate you guys for all your love support continue continuous throughout the years thanks for watching